in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create good voiceovers for your videos okay like have you ever been on social media and you see videos you know you have a background voice narrating these videos and then you just have some text popping up or the scenes or the pictures are changing yeah i'm going to show you how to do that with CapCut, and i'm also going to show you how to change your voice using one of the ai voices in CapCut. it's a very easy thing to do and you know i'm all about smartphone video editing so i'm going to be using CapCut on smartphone so if you like contents like that Feel free to like this video for support. You know, it tells I've already made good content and I'll show it to a lot of people. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. So let's get straight to it. And let's, let me show you how to do good voiceovers for your video and how to change your voice with the AI voices in CapCut. Let's go. All right, guys, let's get to it. So open CapCut and take a new project. So I'm going to be using the video that I use for the intro of this video. Okay, this is it right here on edited. All right, so this is it. So what you're going to do is to do your voiceovers is pretty easy. You go to audio down here when you click on audio you scroll and go to record okay this is the record button down here now i'm having to turn off my band because i don't really need it so now when you go there you need to just press here and you start recording you see you can see is there or oh, why using the app let me just say why using app anytime i want to record i start recording so when you click now here you wait for this is a second down now you can record while you're talking like i'm talking right now i'm recording okay so when i'm done click on stop and i am going to and i'm going to click on okay so i have my voice over now below so if you already have something like text or if your video has volume i don't if your video has you know you don't want like for example this current video i have now has a voice because i recorded it so to turn off the voice i can just click here and i will be able to turn off the voice of that video okay or the, the volume everything and now allow my voice over to work so if i play this video now now you can record while you're talking like i'm talking right now so that's my voice over talking not the video okay so if i click back here i'll turn on the voice or the volume of the video because i just muted it now this is my voice over below let me reduce the mic the volume of it completely so you can hear the video talk okay then i'm going to show you guys how to create good voiceovers for your video you see that so that is it so now this is my voice over but the one problem with voiceover videos, if you're narrating a story, the problem with it is you cannot just take one long voiceover and narrate your story. What you do is when you record, when you get almost to the end, because it's just that this one is too good, when you record and you go almost to the end like this, you record the next part and the next part. For example, let me go back to record. Now click on record. Then I can now record what I'm trying to say right here, okay? Maybe the continuation of it. So I'll stop. Now click on OK. So this is what I'll have. Now you can see now here we have an empty space of the second recording, okay, which you can cut and edit that out. So this is how you do voiceovers like this. It's always in layers. The reason why it's in layers is because all the empty space, why you talk and wait, you take breaks, all those empty space. You cancel them out. You have to delete them out so that you you just narrate without having those breaks, like talking like someone just making a full um, story, okay, like a full story, without the breaks. Like imagine you you're narrating, then you start making um um like you're thinking. You don't need all of that. You need to cut all of that, and then you make sure your voiceovers are layered up like that. So like the next voiceover can come here. I can do it, and I can do it, or I can come immediately here because we have all sound here. Like these are all sound build ups. Okay, all of these are build up. So the empty space like here, there is nothing there. It was somewhere that I, maybe I took a breath and I waited for a little bit. That space is empty. Okay. So that's how it works. So that's how I mean for voiceovers. It's very easy. So I can come here now at the end, almost to the end of this other one. And I record the next thing that I want people to hear. If it's part of a story, I'm just going to record it here right now. And I click on this, I click on accept. So I'm going to have that. Now you can take this one, hold and drag, you bring it. You put it like that. Voiceovers are always in layers like that. Always. Let me use my two fingers to string the timeline so you see what I'm saying. You see that? That's how they always are in layers. So that's how you can do a proper voiceover. Okay? It's always good you have a script so you know exactly how to do it. All right now, let's talk about using AI voices in CapCut. So the AI voices are pretty simple. First, say for example, I'll go to text. I want to type something. Let me say, welcome to my YouTube channel. To my YouTube channel. My name is Gustav. 
you see that to stop the bottom you can even just definitely click on okay i don't really need to edit the text a lot so i'll just put the text anywhere you want highlight it let me shrink it here now beside the text you will see here we have text speech right here okay so when you do that you click on it you see you have trending these are trending speeches uh text or uh, ai voices so these are trending voices that you can use some are free and some are pro and you can try them so for narration like maybe if you want to use it for narration you can take a whole story script what i'm showing you right now you can take a whole story, story script and use this method okay like come from that come to narration right here you see voices that are set for narration most of them are pro though if you watch my last video i kind of showed you guys how to get CapCut pro so all right most of these ones are pro now i use CapCut pro i can just use it so you can go to character maybe you're trying to have uh, two people maybe you have a script for two people you can just take part of the script copy it paste and you select any of these voices it's going to go for example let's take one so let's say for the trending let's say we use thomas welcome to my youtube channel you see that my name is gustav that is not my voice or that's an ai voice within CapCut. so it's the same if you want someone that speaks french you just want a male voice you can have a lot of this and if you have a lot of text let's say you have like um so now just click on okay i'll have this applied okay like videos so and then just have some text popping up how to one thing if you're going to be using um you know ai voices it's good that to narrate something it's good that you come here and you turn off the volume of your video okay mute it if you have to use a video with volume if your video has a volume so you click on it and you mute it so you can rely on your ai voice to narrate whatever has to be narrated like welcome here. to my youtube channel my name is gustav that is perfect so you can use these to make a dialogue between two people like if you have a script for a short story like this person says this and that person says this you want to use ai voices you can use this you just make sure the next person's part you, you copy the text from wherever you keep it and you paste it in here let's say nice to meet you nice to meet you good stuff okay and i click on okay then i say i go to text speech text to speech right here and let's say i want it now to be a lady right female voice i go to female voice and i look at the free voices that are available for female voice so let me say jesse nice to meet you gustav you see that and then click on okay it's going to be added there you can go there i can always change it of course. nice to meet you gustav go to chili girl nice to meet you gustavi adorable adorable girl nice to meet you gustavi hmm. well my name they don't really pronounce it either so you kind of suck right but that's how it works so if that's the case maybe you have not pronounced your name right you have to spell it a bit more to pronounce so i can just go now and take off the e from my name my name does have an e and it's not pronounced it's silent but you know that's just what i'm saying so you can use different ai voices yes i replace the current one yeah so you can use if you're making a video that has two characters you want them to be talking you can use these ai voices okay you just be copying your script and you put it select a particular voice and make sure you maintain that voice for that character and then you do the same for the other voice okay that's it and you can even use the three people three characters kind of scene for this tool this is very very good okay so that's what i want to show you so that's what i want to show you guys in this video how to use voiceover properly and how to use you know the ai voices in capcut for story narration which is something that i think a lot of you should try it is very good so i hope you learned something new and if you did Make sure you like this video so that you can promote it to a lot of people and feel free to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.